Bonjour, in this episode I show you how to give a little HDR look just using Lightroom 4 or Lightroom 5. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 51 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer living in Paris, France, but right now I am traveling in the United States. So anyways, but I keep on doing the podcast. Last week, I showed you some of my best tips on using Lightroom. If you didn't have a chance to check it out, please do. You will get the link in the description of the video. This week, I want to answer some questions I have regarding doing or giving an HDR look using Lightroom 4 or Lightroom 5. This is the before photo and this is the after photo. See how it got this sort of like saturated HDR look that some people seem to love a lot. Well, I will show you how to create that and I will show you also how to make a preset so you can test this with any photo in a split of a second. Let me show you how I do this. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So I want to show you a little trick uh, using Lightroom 5 to create an HDR look using just Lightroom and no Photoshop. So it's um, this is a photo taken in Culver Studio in Los Angeles last week as I was visiting full screen, which is a network, uh, a YouTube network, one of the biggest uh, on the planet. And they were very nice to show me around the Culver Studio in Hollywood. This is where movies like Gone with the Wind was shot. It's a, an amazing studio. So anyways, I'm going to try to make this photo into an HDR uh, with just one single image and just using Lightroom. So we start off with the usual stuff. If you follow my podcast, you know, I always open up the shadows and bring down the highlights. Now, that's about it. And then I'm going to do the whites. So the first, the beginning always starts very similar. So I'm pressing the option key or the alt key, moving the whites till until I see some, uh, some white dots, which is fine. And then I'm going to move the blacks uh, back until I see some black spots. So that's the rough uh, edit there. Let, let me show you the before and after, before and after. It's already, uh, you know, looking a bit better. So to make the XGR and the trick is as follow. I'm going to get clarity the whole way to the right. Now, when you add clarity in Lightroom, uh, what happens is that you lose saturation. So then what I do is I always bring the vibrance up and a bit of saturation. So to get that back, so you get the grungy look from the clarity without losing the color. Now, this is a daylight photo and, you know, see how the uh, uh, the sky is like very um, not blue. I want to get this blue back and that's a little trick I want to show you uh, when, when you do a daylight photo and you want to get, you know, your sky is like all white and you want to get some blue back. You go to the U saturation and luminance and basically uh, you look for the blue and you get the blues to be darker. Now that's already making a change and then you go to saturation and it makes the blue to be more saturated. So between that, let me show you the before and after. Look at this. Look how the sky is a lot more blue. And that's important because usually HDR photos are, you know, very, very, um, very much saturated. Uh, some of them to be too much saturated. Okay, let's keep on going down. Let's enable the profiles correction. That's important. Uh, let's remove chromatic aberration. Uh, now let's see if it did anything. Let's look at the leaf around here. So before the chromatic aberration, look at this. See how there is like some little white things around the, the trees. Now remove chromatic aberration. See how it turning down. That's really important. Okay, and let's look what auto on the upright would do. I don't think it's going to do much because I was very straight. Well, I actually don't even like what it does. I'm going to keep it that way. Okay, and let's make a little vignetting. All right. Now, my technique to make HDR is going to bring uh, it's going to bring um, some uh, some noise. So let's take some noise out to, to begin with. So let's go to the noise. Let's go to the noise, boys and girls. So where is the noise? I kind of lost here because this is a new mobile I'm using. So it's in detail. Here we have the noise. So noise. Um, I don't. Let's look at 100%. I don't think there is that much noise. And you always have to look in like dark places like here. But you know what? I know that what I'm going to do is going to bring some. So I'm going to go like to 40. 
uh, on luminance. Luminance takes out the grainy noise, okay? And then we have color. Uh, I'm gonna bring this to about 50. Okay, next I'm gonna bring the sharpening up to about, about 70, okay? Now that makes it very sharp, a very sharp photo. Okay, so we have a sharp photo, we took out the noise, and now here is the trick of the HDR. So that's just a basic retouching. Let me show you the before, let me show you the after. Now, you have, not, you have not learned anything so far because this is the usual stuff I used to do. Now comes the trick. Trick is, you go in the filter, which is here, uh, you press the Option key and make sure, or the Alt key and click on Reset, making sure everything is reset. And then, and then, you make a filter that goes the whole way up to the whole way down. And on that filter, you get the clarity to go up. Now, remember what we did before is we did the full clarity 100. Now, I'm making another full 100 on the top of the 100. So that's kind of crazy, but I do it. And I'm going to add a bit of saturation because remember, guys, whenever you add clarity, it takes off the colors, okay? Now, you think I'm going to stop there. I'm not. I'm now going to press on new, and I'm going to make another filter. And this one, I'm going to get again the clarity at 100. Check this out. Okay, and I'm going to add back a bit, a bit more saturation. Now this starts to really look like HDR. Look at this, before the clarity filters, the tools we made, that's before, that's after. Okay, let's try one more time, one more time. Okay, oops, sorry, I click on new and make another one. All right, and let's add clarity 100. Now at one point it's gonna sort of destroy your photo, but you know, the whole idea was to give it a look. Okay, I kind of like that. You know, uh, I think the blue is too uh, is too much, but check it out. That's the before, that's the after. D don't you think it has some of like an HDR look? I think so too. So I'm just gonna back down a bit what I've done on the blues because now with all these filters on the top of each other, it looks too blue to me. So let's back down the blues. Okay, and uh, yeah, just about it. And maybe add a bit more vignetting. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, close prop. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is the before, this is the after. A full HDR look just using Lightroom. Now comes the funny part. The funny part is what? You can use this as a preset. So all you have to do is click on preset with the plus. I'm gonna call this HDR daylight because it's more like a daylight photo. Make sure that graduated filter is marked on because by default it's not. And as I've done this before, I, I, I marked it. So make sure this is on and click on create. And now you've got a one button HDR. Check this out. This is another photo from the Culver Studio. And all I have to do is click on the HDR daylight, one click, and I get an HDR photo. Here you can see it in full screen. So you can see it's just a one click magic button. Of course you can do some settings on it. You know, you can fine tune everything, but that's a general idea. Okay, before we get back to me, I wanna show you a new product that's coming out on my website. It's called my portrait presets. So here is a little presentation. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I wanna show you uh, something I've been working on for a few weeks with the help of another photographer, which is to create uh, some presets for Lightroom. Many people have been asking me uh, about uh, presets they would like for portrait, and uh, because that seems to be the main thing. So I created uh, with this photographer three collections, and let me show you how that works. Uh, this is just a photo, totally unretouched, and. Uh, the first collection is called the Photo Surge Portrait Collection. Now, I've already installed the preset. If you go over the preset, you can see here in the window what it looks like. And so you just go through it, and if you find something that you like, like for example, this cold portrait one, that could be an interesting look. Or, you know, you just go down like a dramatic portrait, and it totally changed the photo. And sometimes when you, uh, when you look for a photo or for uh, a look, you know, it's very interesting to, to try something and just look how it is, like vintage portrait number two, for example. That makes a nice style. And sometimes you don't think about it and having all these presets, it takes you just a few seconds to give a look to a photo.
For example, in this one, I think what worked the best was in Miyazo collection, which is called uh, Fashion Collection. In all, you're going to get 60 preset, 20, which is black and white presets. Uh, called the photo search black and white then you're going to get 20 called portrait collections and you're going to get 20 called fashion collection for example uh, fashion collection on this one studio dramatic i like how studio dramatic works with that photo for example or studio cold colors for example uh, or just you know pure studio dramatic it's different style, but um, this is the good thing about preset. It gives you also a starting point, and from there on you can start retouching your photo. The photo, this is a photo of my lovely daughter, Marine, and let me show you some black and whites uh, preset with her. So black and whites, for example, contrasted black and white, I kind of like the look that it gave to that photo, uh, you know, or you can have um, dramatic black and white, dreamy dropping black and white, that could be interesting, you know, it could be a good starting point. Or uh, also I th the, the brown, black and white, I think I had it somewhere, uh, you know, or dramatic black and white. Anyways, different style you can give. Let me give you another example with this photo, okay? Uh, this photo, uh, I'm just gonna go into the, uh, for example, the portrait collection, and I'm just going through like bright portrait. Okay, why not, you know? Uh, contrasted portrait that could be interesting you know and it gives a look right away i think you will love it it's 60 presets and uh, the regular price for these presets is 27 dollars but you can get 20 percent off uh, for a few days by using this code that appears on screen voila i hope you like it now that i showed you the preset let me show you how you can install the preset Okay, once you bought the presets, you're going to get a file called presetphotosearch.zip. All you have to do is double click on it to unzip it. Okay, once you have that, you've got three subfolders. Okay, uh, one is the photo search. Uh, let me make this a bit bigger. The photo search, oh, sorry, uh, black and white collection, the photo search fashion collection, and the photo search portrait collection. You select all three, you right click, and you go copy. So you, this is into memory. Then you go to Lightroom 5 or Lightroom 4, it works with both. And you go to Lightroom, Preference, Show Lightroom Preset Folders. Okay, that's gonna reopen the, the Finder or the Windows Explorer, if you're on Windows. So here we are in Lightroom. And look, at you have a lot of different presets. What you're looking for is a develop presets. And then you right click and paste the three items in that folder in a develop preset and what you're going to get i've already installed it you're going to, you're going to get these three folders each Rocky folder is going to have 20 so presets well, i hope it. you like it and then i hope this will give you uh, a new you have vision do is on doing like the, the um the on presets. working with photos and uh, making your portraits look awesome voila mesdames et messieurs okay guys so i hope you like that tutorial and i hope you will check out the preset i think they can really do wonders to some of your portraits photo Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing if you like this podcast and I will see you next week.